Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P Lot, aka the Brick Slinger. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. Um, as y'all already know, we have lost um, DJ Twitch, aka Stephen Ellen. Um, he was well he was well known for being on shows like So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, matter of fact, he was, uh, I believe second runner up but, um, he also did movies like um, Step Up um, Step Up 3 and Step Up Revolution he is also known for being a DJ for the Ellen Show and also for the latest uh, rendition of the hip hop Nutcracker which is on um, Disney Plus stream right now. Um, he passed away through. Um, I don't know if it's safe to say the word now. However, he I, the best thing for me to say is that he decided to leave leave this earth on his own as opposed to it's kind of hard to really address how he passed away because it seemed like when we try to explain certain words like suicide and instead of saying that word we say unalive and or he decided to leave his earth, whatever the case may be, it's it's very hard to deal with a culture that that do too much wordplay to try to make certain folks feel comfortable, or safe, or even happy. However, here's my thing with this whole situation dealing with his death. Number one, it's it's continue to remind us that no matter how famous or unfamous you are, no matter how rich or poor you are, um, Ecclesiastic makes it clear that no matter what, no matter how wise or unwise you are, no matter how popular or important or unknown you are, we all have a destination in the grave. We all do. It's unfortunate. It's the unfortunate truth. However, the reality is we all have a spot. We all have a time. Our end point is going to come. Um, is it kind of uncomfortable to speak about this? Yes. Why? Because truth be told, as a man, as a black man, as a Christian, we always seem, seem to see the reality of this world, how they feel about us as men, about us being as black men, and especially Christians. Like, I, I, I'm not going to... On this one, I'm not going to speak on what women think. I'm thinking about as a man. I'm thinking about the young man that's going to be watching this. The young boy that's going to want to see, look for role models. They Looking for that. Looking for it. That's the one I'm speaking to. I'm speaking about men who experience depression and anxiety and cultural and social um, compression. They got to deal with this world as it is, whether we are nine to five, making 30, 40, 50 a year to those who don't even have to do work for somebody. Matter of fact, they are they running business and they're entrepreneurs and they doing 48 hours and 60 hours a week, whatever the case may be. Um, We. 
not only not only dealing with um with DJ uh, Twitch, but also um David Jason Frank or Jason David Frank. Um, sorry to mispronounce his name or or whatnot, but we lost him also to suicide. And when it's all said and done, if nothing tell nothing shows us with Robin Williams and everybody, every every man that's like that, that no matter how happy a person is, a person is, um, especially a man, because I know people want to bring up, well, what about the women? Women go through this, women go through that, women go through menopause, and women go through uh, bad guys and all that stuff. It's like we hear that and we understand that. We acknowledge that. We may challenge that, but we acknowledge that. But let's not, uh, but let's not act like women is the only human beings that's going through anything in this world. Because we continue to ignore the men that have nothing to do with what most of these women are going through. Some of these, some of these guys are letting themselves go and it seemed as if they didn't have options and most people will probably say well that person was weak-minded and stuff like that i i beg the difference it has nothing to do with being weak-minded to me it has to deal with the fact that A person can have a a, 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 a a such a heavy heavy spirit um crushing them to the point where all they thinking about is getting rid of the voices or getting rid of the pain and and nothing else is seem seem to be working therapy is not working uh talking to somebody a friend or a family member someone they trust not working or that or even trusting people, period. Like, we always bringing up mental illness and this, that, and the third. However, it's not that there's no, 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 no um, cure. Because there's always seemed to be a cure when it comes to mental health. It's just that it's going to take more than just a pill. It's going to take more than just therapy section. Like those are some good stuff. But sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes just going to therapy for for a season is not enough. Sometimes it's going to take a year or two. Sometimes it's going to even go take a, a decade. Like many people be thinking that going to therapy for a certain amount of time is going to be beneficial. But truth be told, there are some things that needs to be healed and it's going to take longer than six months. It's going to take longer than a year. Because sometimes the things that we learn from our therapist may, may be good for a season, may be good for six months. Heck, even if our pastor who's giving us the word every Sunday and even every Wednesday, every Bible study, and I'm not saying that the gospel doesn't work. It's not, and the gospel is not is uh is not going to work. I'm not saying that the gospel on its own is not going to work. I'm not even saying that Jesus by itself is not going to work. However, at some point we're going to have to see the gospel being put to practice. We're going to have to see the the teachings of Jesus being put to practice. We're gonna have to see the 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 wisdom of Proverbs be put to practice. Cause you're wondering why so many Christians are burnt out in churches. Why you see so many ministers burnt out, and you wonder why so many people are trying are trying other stuff than prayer and fasting.
at some point, as men, we need to do a better job taking better care of ourselves in order for us to manage to take care of someone else as men. Because we can go out and hit these streets, clock in, clock out, put in them eight hours a day and come home. If you're married, come home to a wife and she's doing everything that she can. She's doing everything to make a house a home. She's making sure that everything in that mug from wall to wall, ceiling to floor, corner to corner, she's doing everything in her job to make peace make that home place a, a sanctuary for you a safe haven for you i'm not and i'm not even talking i'm not even want to worry about the ones that not doing it because according to proverbs it's best to sit on the corner of a roof than to be in a house with a chorus and woman i'm talking about a real wife you know not no girlfriend, a wife, a real wife, not a glorified girlfriend. But, but again, we 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 definitely, as men, need to do a better job of taking care of ourselves mentally. We need to take a better care of ourselves spiritually. Because in order for us to be the 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 men in, in our homes the men in our communities our neighborhoods our cities in our church in a, in programs left and right jobs we need to do better at taking care of ourselves and even if you're husbands your wife is there for you for a reason, God, the the reason for reason God put a woman in our life so that we can become one with them. Their job, the job of a wife, is to help us, because we may not get it, we may not understand it, but that should not stop us from wanting to. Because we do a terrible job trying to figure it out on our own and try to do it ourselves. Even if we know we're going to fail, we have the confidence to be like, we're going to do it. We're going to try or what not or bust. And again, and I said it before, that's why we need Jesus. Because there's a lot of things that we can't do on our own all the way 100%. We can't do it all on our own 100%. We can't do all the thing. We can't do it all the right way 100%. We need someone that can take that can take the burdens off of us. That's why Jesus burden is light and it's easy. He wants us to trade that burden with him. He wants that for, for us. He, he literally did something that no man could ever, ever think of doing, which is take our place on the cross. We deserve the wrath. We deserve the judgment. We deserve the strife. But he took that for us. On our behalf. On that cross. He died for us. And then three days later, he rose again. Letting it, know, letting it be known that, hey, the debt is clear. The debt is clear. Your sin are literally forgiven. And no man can take that away from you. No man. So hopefully just hearing the gospel makes you sit back and think, man, maybe there is more to live to live for. 
Because once you receive Christ, not only do you receive a new life, you receive life. And it's going to continue to get harder. It's going to continue to be tough. But once you have Jesus, once you have the Holy Spirit, you will continue to live and learn to live a godly life, a godly approved life, a holy life, a righteous life in this crazy world that wants us to do more harm to us, to our own, own lives and then to other lives around us. As men, I'm challenging you just as much as I'm challenging myself. We need to do better. So that we can be better husbands. We can be better fathers. So that we can be better brothers. Hopefully, hopefully what I'm saying to you help you. And if it have, if it if anything, if it haven't done anything, then let it continue to play over and over, repeat it over and over. Because when it's all said and done, bruh. You are important. You do have a life to live. Despite what the job has to, have to say. Despite what the society has to say. Despite what the culture has to say. Man, you have something to live for. You do have something to live for. We all have something to live for. And through Christ, all things are possible. Through Christ. And anything is possible for those who believe. And I believe that if you're watching this video, man, and even if you're, even as a, even you, sister, who probably will watch this just for the sake of wanting to know what it is that's going on. And you want to help your son or help your brother, help your uncle, whoever is feeling down, give this video to that person. And help that dude out and let him know you are important. And you still have something to live for despite the fact that you're depressed right now. And you're feeling like there's nothing to live for. You have something important. You are important. You have something to live for. And let that be the, the, the point of you getting to the starting line of a brand new life in Christ. But that's just me. If you like what you heard, there's a like button. If you dislike what you heard, there's a dislike button. Comment. Me your two cents. And you can disagree if you want to, but as long as you're not disrespectful, that's all right with me. Subscribe. Share this video. Let's continue this conversation. And who knows, one day this might be live. And please, go check out Man of the Construction. It's on all the digital outlets. Until then, it's your boy P-Lot, a.k.a. the Brick Slinger. Brick Slinger. And as always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.